Anatomy and Physiology 1, Movement of the Arm. The pectoralis major has origins on the clavicle, the sternum, and the costal cartilages of upper ribs. It inserts through the armpit on the humerus. It has origins on the clavicle, sternum, and costal cartilages of upper ribs, and it inserts on the intertubercular groove of the humerus. Its action is to flex the shoulder, adduct, and rotate arms immediately. The latissimus dorsi muscle is a triangular muscle on the back. It has origins on the vertebral column, the iliac crest, and lower ribs, and it inserts in the intertubercular groove of the humerus. It has origins on the spines of the lower thoracic, lumbar, and sacral vertebra, iliac crest, lower ribs, and it inserts on the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus. Its action is to extend the shoulder, adduct, and rotate the arm medially, or to press and attract the shoulder. The deltoid is a triangular muscle that has origins on the spine of the scapula, the acromion process, and the clavicle, and it inserts on the humerus, the spine of the scapula, the acromion process, and the clavicle are its origins, and it inserts on the deltoid tuberosity on the lateral side of the humerus. The three portions of the deltoid muscle are shown here in different colors. The lateral portion abducts the arm, the anterior portion flexes the shoulder, and the posterior portion extends the shoulder. Two muscles have their origins on the depression above and below, the spine on the posterior side of the scapula, the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus. And they insert on the greater tubercle of the humerus. As a reference, here's the posterior side of the scapula. The supraspinatus abducts the arm, whereas the infraspinatus rotates the arm laterally. On the anterior side of the scapula lies the subscapularis, shown with the arm removed from our torso model, as well as our arm model. And the origin of this muscle is the anterior surface of the scapula, and the insertion is on the lesser tubercle of the humerus, shown here. Its action is to rotate the arm medially. The teres major is a muscle that can extend the shoulder, adduct, and rotate the arm medially. It has origins on the lateral border of the scapula, and it inserts on the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus.